Hello, I'm Ralph Gable of Electronics for the Inquisitive Experimenter YouTube channel. Today I want to start my series on how to measure the velocity factor of a piece of transmission line, like coaxial cable. What, you may ask, is velocity factor? Well, we've all heard that electricity travels the speed of light down a piece of wire. Well, while it is true that electricity does indeed travel very fast on a piece of wire, it does not actually move at the speed of light. In fact, it can move much slower than the speed of light, depending upon the cable's construction. Velocity factor is all about how quickly electricity moves down a piece of wire relative to the speed of light in free space, in other words, out in outer space. In our discussion, we're specifically going to be talking about transmission lines like coaxial cables. Well, why would you want to know how fast a signal travels down a piece of transmission line? Well, strange stuff happens in transmission lines. Here's an example. Let's say I have a piece of coaxial cable that is exactly the same electrical length as a quarter wave at a particular frequency. If this end of the cable is an open, bring it in here, this end of the cable is an open, over here it'll look like a short. If this end over here is a short, this end will look like an open. It's a impedance transformation from end to end on the cable. And we use this very characteristic to build four to one coaxial balance using a loop of coax or a stub match or a feed line comb filter. All these things are dependent upon the velocity factor of the transmission line in order to figure out what the electrical length of that piece of coax needs to be, how, how to cut it to the right length, physical length, to make it one quarter wave length at its electrical length. Well, doesn't the data sheet for the coax tell me what that velocity factor is? Well, yes and no. It tells you what they manufactured the coax to be. It doesn't tell you what it really is. If you want to know what it really is, then you have to measure it for yourself. Well, how on earth do I do that? Well, there are three ways, and let me show them to you. So, how do I measure the velocity factor of a piece of transmission line? Well, there are three distinct methods. The first one is using your antenna analyzer. Using a standard everyday antenna analyzer such as this one, you can measure the velocity factor or determine what the velocity factor of your coax or your transmission line is. Time domain reflect don't let that scare you. It's not that complicated. You need a signal generator and an oscilloscope. Not a big deal. The third one, don't let this one scare you, vector network analyzer, such as this little mini VNA Tiny, which is what we will be using for our experiment. But in all three cases, you must know the physical length of your piece of transmission line. So get out your tape measure and measure how long that piece of transmission line is that you're going to be using as a sample. You need a reasonable sample of it. You know, don't, don't take a piece like this long and, and try to measure the velocity factor. Don't do 800 feet of it, you know, like a, on a roll. Uh, but, you know, 8 feet, 4 feet, 12 feet, a reasonable length. In the coming videos, I will be demonstrating how to make these measurements. 
There'll be three distinct videos, one for using the antenna analyzer, one for doing the time domain reflectometry, and one for using the vector network analyzer. The next video in the series will be how to do this with the antenna analyzer. Until then, thank you for watching. Toodaloots.